Coming up on this edition of Able Den on Air, we focus on what the CDC has to say and dialysis shortages all over the United States, including hospitals and clinics. All that and much more when Able Den on Air starts right now. Coming up and welcome to this edition of Able Den on Air, the one and only program that, focus, that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I'm your host, Lauren Seiler. Arlene is not here today. On this particular special episode, special medical episode, we focus on what the CDC has to say in terms of medical shortages and dialysis for patients all over the United States. I'm Lauren Seiler. Let's begin. Um, this is an important report. Uh, the CDC is issuing or has issued a a health health alert according to their network to inform healthcare providers, pharmacists, healthcare faculty, and administrators in every state, tribal, local, and territorial health departments of a supply disruption. Uh, according for. Um, dialysis medication, or PD, per perineal dialysis and intravenous IV solutions from the Baxter International North Cove, North Cove facility in North Carolina due to Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton as well. The supply disruption may <clears throat> impact patient care and require adjustments to the clinical management of patients. Healthcare providers, pharmacists, healthcare faculty and administrators, and state, tribal, and local territorial health departments, regardless of supply chain disruptions, should immediately access their supply and develop plans uh, and mitigation strategies to reduce the impact on patient care. This health advisory will be constantly updated and it su summarizes the recommendations from the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA and uh, the Administration for Strategic Preparedness and Response for Technical Resources Assistance Center and information exchange. Um, and this goes on to say, by the way, if you want to find out more about this, you can go to www.cdc.gov forward slash healthcare associated with infections. Faculties and implement strategies early to conserve the, the we, we must conserve fluid supplies and avoid waste and uh, and reduce the impact on services. Strategic or strategies must ensure that patient safety is timely and effective. Uh, safety <clears throat> notifications and education on healthcare personnel and patients. And by the way, for more information on um, UVM and CVMC Medical Center here in Vermont, which this is also impacting, please uh, contact uh, uvm.org and cvmc.org for more information on that. Additional supply disruptions may <clears throat> occur after the, af after the aftermath of Hurricane Milton. Healthcare providers, pharmacists and healthcare faculty administrators in healthcare facilities must also uh, realize this, that, and they also uh, must determine the IV solutions from your pharmacy <clears throat> and faculty uses, including expiration date. You must check the expiration dates on whether this supply disruption can impact your, fa your, your facility and or faculty members. Monitor, you must um, monitor current and future supply of IV solutions at your facility. Report 
any potential shortages or disruptions to the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, and you must implement a, a facility-specific action plan to itemize the uses of IV solutions, including the evidence-based fluid management protocols. You must evaluate all protocols, including the clinical need to continue IV fluid replacement on every shift change and bag change during the transition of care necessary to clinic or clinically necessary. Please use oral formulations when IV options are not available when appropriate and safe. Identify <clears throat> safe and effective alternative IV options. Example, working with a nearby facility or licensed manufacturer who is not affected by the supply disruption. This only concerns Baxter Pharmaceuticals. Please review the standing, uh, the standing including drug records and order sets. And by the way, there is an update uh, regarding this. Let me get to that. I'm going to get to that right now. There is an update according to that. Yeah, so here is um, the recent <clears throat> here is the recent update regarding this. Uh, CDC warns hurricane might disrupt kidney care. Baxter increases production. The key takeaways from this, by the way, if you want to find out about this update, you can go to www.helio.com forward slash news uh, and warns of damage of hurricane. So the key takeaways of this, Baxter has increased global dialysis supplies production to support <clears throat> patients and customers in the United States. The American Society of, of nephrology recommends <clears throat> strategies to con conserve fluid supplies. The CDC has issued a health advisory due to the disruption of the supply of peroneal dialysis and IV solutions from the Baxter International North Carolina during Hurricane Helene. The alert intends to inform this alert intends to inform healthcare providers, pharmacists, administrators, and patients of flood and otherwise weather damage affecting supply manufacturing at Baxter's North Cove facility, uh, a North Cove facility, uh, according to the press release from the CDC. Um, and this is breaking news. Um, the supply disruptions may affect patient care and require adjustments to the clinical management of patients. CDC officials say that in this press release, providers, including um, state, tribal, local, territorial health, and other departments, should immediately access their supply and develop plans for, for mitigation uh, uh, like I repeated before, to um, to reduce the impact on patient care, the American Society of Nephrology recommends that several strategies to conserve fluid supplies and <clears throat> and reduce uh, conserve fluid supplies, reduce waste, and ensure patient safety, including. Prioritizing bag sparing over over solution or sparing strategies, reducing overall sodium intake, and providing advice for medication management. A detailed interim stra strategies outlined from the ASN for conservation for peroneal dialysis. Solution can be found uh, at the following uh, www.asnonline.org 
forward slash news 2024. Um, Baxter <clears throat> has increased the global manufacturing of supplies of patients and customers in the United States, according to the company's press release. However, uh, in terms of any hospital that you're dealing with, if you deal with UVM or CVMC, please contact them to make sure you have adequate supplies uh, for dialysis before going for your treatment. Um, the company says it expects to have more, more than 3,000 employees and reading me and and uh, uh, re remediation contractors working on recovery efforts. Baxter has received a HHS FDA administration strategic preparedness and response <clears throat> support in working to mitigate possible additional disruptions from Hurricane Milton or Hurricane Helene. And um, let me go down here. For more information on that, you can go to www.baxter.com um, forward slash newsroom. Uh, that's www.baxter.com um, in terms of that. Now, um, for more information, let me, since we are on that topic, um, in terms of the dialysis, um, so uh, for more information on the certain types of dialysis, uh, you can also go to www.helio.com um, and also www.cdc.org. It's the Centers for Disease Control. Um, and if you want more information on um, the different kidney therapies um, related to diabetes, you can go to www.helio.com. That's, <clears throat> that's H-E-A-L-I-O.com. That's www.helio.com. Come. And um, please, if you are dealing with uh, UVM Medical Center and CBMC in terms of dialysis, uh, please contact them by going to www.uvm.org uh, and cbmc.org. Um, there are still uh, shortages when it comes to medication. I remember during um, the pandemic, there was a lot of shortages and medication. Uh, please contact your medication provider and your pharmacist to find um, to find out about that. And um, if you're if you're interested also in terms of the type of dialysis medication please contact UVM Medical Center when in regards to that. Um, we don't want anybody going without uh, medications during this time. Um, and by the way, um, there'll be constant updates in terms of that. All right? So www.uvm.org um, and CVMC. Dot org and if also there's another number that you can uh, contact uh, if you are experiencing medication shortages please contact Vermont 211 that's Vermont 211 and also the Vermont Department of Health at www um, Vermont Department of Health dot org that is Vermont Department of Health dot org um, in reference to that. Please make sure you contact them in case of an emergency. Um, now, there is um, a very important um, thing here that I need to go over with uh, our viewers. Okay, 
um, in terms of therapies and medications, uh, you know, decision factors, if you're a child or if, if you are the parent of a child and you need um, kidney replacement uh, medications uh, or medication therapies during this time, you can also um, uh, look at this website, again, helio.com, and uh, starting dialysis uh, is more likely for children with um, certain conditions compared to congenial retinal abnormalities. Uh, and it goes on, levels of kidney function <clears throat> rate and decline for the type of renal disease are key factors influencing the decision to initiate kidney replacement therapy. Whether dialysis or transplantation for pediatric patients are according to study data. So for more information on that, uh, you can contact helio.com. Um, and uh, there's one more website I need to go over, which is important. Um, okay. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, yeah. Hold on one second. Um, let's see if I can find this website for everybody here. I'm just getting it. Um, Okay, here we go. I found it. Um, if you are having a, if you're experiencing a kidney emergency during the time of Hurricane Helene or Hurricane Milton, you can contact uh, the, the Kidney Community Emergency Response Center. Uh, the Kidney Community Emergency Response KCER hotline is at one 901 3773 That number, once again, is for the community for the community emergency response K E K C E R hotline, the kidney community emergency response at one 901 3773 that is 1-866-901-3773. You can also call the National Kidney Foundation for their help, uh, their helpline at 1-855-653-2277. Sorry, one eight five five six five three two two seven three. That is one eight five five six five three. Two two seven three or one eight hundred Medicare. That is one eight hundred six three three four two two seven. And um, there are some situations in terms of uh, kidney emergencies. You must plan ahead. Have extra supplies in terms of your medications. Uh, know your emergency diet. Talk to your doctor. Uh, and get a three-day emergency diet that you can follow. Don't do not miss a treatment. Uh, and by the way, um, some complications of kidney injury include um, high. Um, I can't pronounce these words, but for more information, you can go to www. dot k c e r. dot org. That is. K C E R dot org, the Kidney Community Emergency Response uh, Network. And you can contact them. That's um, that's very very important. And according to the um, the Kidney Foundation, planning for people with kidney disease and emergencies is extremely important. You must plan ahead, have emergency supplies and extra supplies of medicines 
if needed. So, uh, for more information on the uh, the kid again, the kidney community emergency response um, helpline one eight six six nine zero one three seven seven three and one eight hundred. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, one eight hundred six three three four two two seven for Medicare. Um, this, this is extremely important, especially during Hurricane Milton and Hurricane Helene. And do not hesitate uh, to um, talk to Vermont 211 if, here in Vermont if you're experiencing this. Uh, and by the way, um, this has been a very important bulletin regarding uh, kidney and dialysis supplies. Please contact the CDC for more information, www.cdc.org, the Centers for Disease Control. Again, I will give that number one more time for the Kidney Community Response, Emergency Response. Kidney Community Emergency Response, 1-866-901-3773 or 1-855-633-2277. Uh, or the um, or one eight hundred Medicare at one eight hundred six three three four two two seven. I'm Lawrence Seiler. See you next time. This has been an emergency bulletin for kidney and dialysis, according to the CDC. I'm Lawrence Seiler. See you next time on Ableton on Air. For more information on Ableton on Air, you can go to um, www dot orcamedia.net that is www.orcamedia.net and please also follow me in the mornings on www.airedoutvt.com that is www.airedoutvt.com I'm Lauren Seiler see you next time on Ableton on Air